mail today. Oh. Hey, y'all. We're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. Today, in the mail, we got our life due. So it's a collapsible fire pit and or grill. Grill. So Life Do sent us this to get our honest feedback. So today we're going to unbox, set up, show you guys how easy it and is to do. Only this much. And this evening we're going to cook dinner on it and give you our opinion on how that works. So just so you can point a reference in the box, it is 20 inches by 14 and per the shipping label it weighs 18, 18 pounds. whole pounds like when we were in florida over the winter there's a lot of parks i think most of the parks maybe all of them in florida do not allow fires there's no fire pits at any of the campsites the only way you can have a fire is if you have a self-contained fire pit um we have a fire pit like that at home but it takes up too much room to travel with so when we go to places that don't have fire pits at the campsites we just don't have a fire and we don't use a fire all the time but it is nice once in a while to cook over the fire and not have to drag out the grill we're just you know, just the two of us and we just got a couple burgers or hot dogs or something we want to grill so so we're um, going to unbox this thing and see how easy and how quick it is to build it i'm actually going to let her build it because she loves to put things together like ikea i hate ikea <sighs> all right let's unbox it They put a lot of tape on it. Please hold. We're not going to save the box, I guess. No. You're like a kid at Christmas. Yes. Except I don't want to put it together. So it all comes. That's it. We might need some scissors to get the cable ties off. Uh -oh. Unless you have a knife, because I don't. Well, you keep tearing it apart. I'm pretty sure this is a case for it to go in. Oh. So it comes with this little carrying case, little bag. Life do. You do, I do. Now we're not reading the directions either, so let's see how this thing works. So these go in here. And there's two different um, settings, depending on whether you're using firewood or charcoal. Oh, we could have, should have done one side and not the other. Okay, I'm going to take one side off. Perhaps we should have read the directions. There you go. Please hold. And it has this little grate to go in the bottom to hold either your charcoal or your firewood in place. Keep it from falling out the bottom. You put these in there. <clears throat> you don't have to put those on. These go across the top to hold your grill in place. And then it has the two handles also to keep it from falling down in. 
So um, one of the things that they added to the life do was this tray that goes underneath. They didn't used to have that and the benefit there is so that if you're using it on a picnic table or even in the grass or you know anywhere outdoors that you don't want fire um, as your ash falls out the bottom you can collect it here on the tray and you can clean it up when you're done and you can walk away and not leave any mess or evidence that you've been there um, they, it does have the holes in the side <clears throat> so the fire can get air and the hole underneath so the fire can get air and like I said, these are adjustable, so depending on whether you were using it as a fire pit or a grill, you can adjust it for whether you're using wood or charcoal. So as you can see, it only took us, once we got it out of the box and undone, it took us three minutes to put together. So I think that this is going to be a pretty good addition to our And it all fits camping. in this little tray and in that bag, so we can take a fire pit. It's raised up off the ground. Um, we have the grate to cook on or we can take it off and just use it as a fire pit or you can take the grate off and you can put your um, cast oh iron yeah you can use your here. cast iron that's the other thing that it's it's listed for is if you don't want to use the grate you want to either um, we're not big cook over the fire people <laughs> but if you are and you want to have your like cast iron skillet or even your coffee pot you want to cook um, you know things like that that don't need to go on the grate you can certainly do that so like I said tonight we're gonna have some kielbasa and cook it over the fire. We gotta get some charcoal while we're out today. Um, but we will be back with you guys to see how that goes and give our final opinion after using it. Also in the link below, Jimmy will give you, there's a uh, a code. We'll have a coupon code down in the bottom for 10% off, I think yeah. it is. And it'll be an Amazon link if you'd rather go to Amazon and, and get it from there. So. Check in the comments, check in the link uh, description below. We'll put all that stuff down there for you. So, so that's it for now. We put it together. We'll be back this evening. We'll be back this evening and then cook on it and see how it does. how easy it is to pack it up and put it back on the bag. So this afternoon we cooked on our life do, made kielbasas. We're going to try those here in just a minute, but I do want to say that we recommend it. We're looking forward to it, the portability and the fact that it is so small and easy to take care of and easy to clean. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell, and until the next time you find us camping, safe travels y'all.